Skills 21 and the Connecticut Technical High School System have come up with a challenging project that mirrors careers in real-world precision manufacturing industries. It's an opportunity for you to be part of an engineering challenge, competing not only within our school, but with other schools from all over the state. As the Advanced Manufacturing Challenge begins, students are in for an exciting new experience that will deepen their involvement beyond typical assignments. We were approached with a challenge that uh, we need to make an air compressor that is manually driven so that it could be used in locations where there were no power or fossil fuels. Ed Advance chooses parameters that align with student skills so that students are able to finish a prototype and marketing plan for their project and present it before judges at ExpoFest in the spring. The technical high school system is the only state-run technical high school system in the nation. We have a common curriculum. One of the things that I think is unique is each region of the state has a little different industry regarding manufacturing and advanced manufacturing. And I think that brings a separate flavor to the instruction, which could create some diversity and I think make it pretty intriguing as far as the solutions to those design challenges. There's gonna be certain specifications you have to follow and the rest is up to you to interpret which means you can get very creative on your design. Something for you to consider, weight, cost, material selection, portability, durability against wide ranging environmental conditions. Imagine you are the person who picks this up at an airport and you're gonna carry this 10 miles into the woods or 10 miles out into a prairie. How heavy is it gonna be? What materials are you gonna use? There's a lot for you to think about. It's going to make us think more because we're not just given given a blueprint. Now we have to really actually make the blueprint. Yeah, we have yeah. to make the yeah. blueprint and really think about every little thing that we do. We haven't had to apply all of it in, in a big project like this that has as much weight as this does. So that will be really interesting how it turns out. Introducing the challenge in the fall, teachers offer students a chance to put their skills to use while they still have time to gain new ones. And then it goes one line beyond there, right? So that's another 25,000 plus whatever reads on here. In some schools, manufacturing students team up to design and build their own devices from start to finish. Or go up the screen and where you want. Yeah, it well, it doesn't matter, whichever The way they have it, teacher. Yeah. In other schools, the engineering and manufacturing departments come together for a unique partnership. So it occurred to us, well, why not treat this like it was in the real world? and let the design engineers come up with the designs. And once they establish those designs, we'll bring in the manufacturing group and work collaboratively so that the design engineers know what they want, the manufacturing people know what they can make and how to make it, and come up with a common plan. Hopefully, if our guys are down there, they're back and forth to be right there at the machine, they'd be able to answer. They'd be able to see what they're doing, answer the questions, and my guys will learn something about manufacturing, and Larry's guys will learn something about, about making prints and, and drawings and engineering. The ideal person out in industry, whether they become an engineer or are into manufacturing, needs to know each other's job so they know where they're thinking. Too many times components are over-designed and you can't make it. This is the first time that we're entering a competition where we're mixing two shops together, so that's going to be nice to see that. Some schools field more than one team. Because we have a lot of athletes in here too, so a lot of us really like competing. So the fact that we're divided in our own shop, we like a little bit of competition. Yeah. Too. A little bit. A little a lot bit. Of a lot. I really see the value in this manufacturing challenge as a way to incorporate project-based learning and have it actually align and really work with our existing curriculum and learner outcomes that are expected of our students. So how do students decide what to make for their project? In the next episode, we'll see how they generate ideas.